So today on this beginner series of Final Cut Pro X version 10.3, I'm just going to show you how to create a library on Final Cut Pro. So our libraries here, they're indicated by four squares with four stars in them, and our libraries contain folders, which are called events. And our folder is indicated by a single star with a single square, so say our, our library symbol echoes the fact that there are multiple folders contained within it. So our libraries contain um, files, folders, um, and also projects, which are these symbols here with the chevron, which indicate these are our movies, essentially. Um, so our library here, we're going to just tell you how to set one up. So the library that you can use um, for various reasons as part of your media management, and it can be determined by, um, you don't need to set up a new library for every single, you can if you want, but you don't need to, send up, to set up a library for every single video that you make. Um, I tend to um, create a new library, maybe if it's, a, if it's a particularly big project with a lot of outcomes, a lot of days of filming, or um, most of the time I set up my libraries um, in time frames such as quarters, so I have like my, I open up one, so I won't take too long. If I open up my autumn projects, for example, this year, so I organise them by sort of spring, and so I've got a few projects here that I've been working on. So I tend to, um, other libraries are going to be <laughs> significantly larger than this. So I might organise them by project if there's, a, if there's uh, a large project, or I might organise them by, it might be by month, it might be by, um, by quarter, depending on how you want to work it. So those are the reasons that you set up a library. So libraries are quite easy to set up. If I go up to the top here, where it says File, go to down to where it says New, over to Library. So you select Library. The first thing that you need to do is to work out where you're going to set up your library. So if, you, if this is your home computer and you're working there, you can choose your destination. By default, it goes into the user, it goes into Movies. That's where the Final Cut Pro libraries like to reside. Now, I don't have a particularly large hard drive on my computer, so I tend to have the majority of my libraries on an external storage device, which I have chosen here. So I'm going to set up a new library on here. So I'm going to collect, uh, correct, uh, select my storage device and I'm going to give it a name. So this one here I'm just going to call Demo Library 2. And I'm just going to set it up here within, just straight away within my folder. I might, I might choose a particular uh, project to... Um, to assign that to, but for the moment I'm just going to select it into the hard drive itself. Um, if you wanted to create a new folder you could, create a brand new folder for your project. So I'm just going to save it straight onto my hard drive. See. So now I have a new library that's all set up here. If I just close this library so you can see. By default when you set up a new library this is what you get. So there's nothing in it. You have one folder that can, that um, is set up automatically and usually a smart words collection as well. And there's no project set up within your within your first folder, so you have to decide what you're going to do, uh, going to input into it. The one thing I would note uh, with regards to setting up a library, if like me you're setting it up on an external storage device, there's an extra step that I would advise. So I set up on my hard drive earlier a new folder, which I've called FCPX backups or my Final Cut Pro X backups. And you can see here that the symbol for my hard uh, for my new library has now appeared on my hard drive. So this additional step involves selecting the library and going over here to our inspector, which we um, described earlier in the user interface video. Um, and I want you to select here where it says storage locations and modify settings. So we're going to click on modify settings, and within here you have a few different options. You have media, you've got in library motion content in motion templates folder. I'm going to change that to in library because I want everything from this, um, from these edits, from these folders to put onto my hard drive. In here I've got backups as well. Now this is currently set to FCPX backups because I already have, have set that. That's currently my default backup location. Where it says final cut backups, that is generally by default what it refers to when it's talking about your computer. Unless you happen to kind of give it the same names here. You can see there the, uh, the additional user data to the to the right of the screen, users, and it tells you exactly where those are stored. This one here, volumes, it's on my two terabyte hard drive, and it's an FCP backup. So this is where I want it to to be. However, if you've just set up a new one, you want to go down to here to where it says choose. You're going to locate your hard drive, find your folder, and you're going to click choose. And you're going to tell it where you want it to go. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what the, what I would advise if you're using an external hard drive. Otherwise, everything is just going to, by default, remain on your computer, so you don't really worry, have to worry too much about um, 
adjusting those settings. So I'm going to click OK. So that is all that it takes to set up a new library. Just if you want to just double check, make sure that your library is in the correct place and it hasn't accidentally been stored on a computer or in another location, just go onto the device where you, where you um, want it to do. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much.